Okay, so now the program says it, we should display the average of the test scores and the letter grade that is assigned for the test score average, which means we need to take the average, we need to test on the average to figure out what letter grade that average is, right? If the le average is between 90 and 100, then we, okay, so between 90 and 100 inclusive, right? So then we just, we, the letter grade is going to be A, right? So let's create a new statement to test on the average. All right, so first of all, let's start from the bottom. Below 60, you get an F. Right, so the, if the user average is less than 60, if right, below 60 is less than 60, if, it's, if the user average is less than 60, then a letter grade is F. All right, so I'm going to come up here and declare a character variable, okay, so a char variable, and then I'm going to call it letter grade. I'm going to call it letter grade. Um, normally, when you declare um, character variables, you need to initialize it to something, right? You can go ahead and, in, and initialize it to a space, or in this case, I'm just going to initialize it to like the, the letter Z. Later on, we can change it. But so that when the program starts, you let you letter grade it's Z, or you can you can use a space. The thing is, in in, the chap in chapter three, we haven't learned about loops yet and, and validation yet. So when you are testing your program, just make sure you are typing in values, you know, from from one to um, so let's say from from zero to one hundred, right? Um, because we don't we haven't learned all that yet in, in chapter three uh, late in later chapters we learn new concept and we can apply it but now we are only limited with what we've learned in chapter three and so we can do things like this right we can do things like this <coughs> ultimately once you finish learning the java language you, you, you wouldn't do something like you'd you'd come up with you know even complex i mean you can still do something like this but you'd have validation to make sure that the user you know, if the user enters a negative number, for example, the program would, would display an error saying, hey, enter values between 1 and 100. Okay. All right, so if the user's average is less than 60, then the letter grade, okay, is, now, by the way, characters, look, this is this needs to be a space, by the way, space. Or you can use a letter Z. I'm going to use a letter, the character Z, uppercase Z. That's what we've initialized it to. <clears throat> if the user average is less than 60, letter grade is... F. So I'm going to start out here. With characters, you use single quotations around them. All right, so if the user's average is not less than 60, what it means is that then the average is 60 or above. Okay, if the user's average is not less than 60, it's 60 or above. So for all the numbers 60 or above, we don't want all the numbers 60 or above. For all the numbers 60 or above, we also don't want the, we also want the ones less than 70. Let me just go ahead and write it and explain. So else if... Oops, what have I done here? Let's make sure it's correct. I need my semicolon. All right. All right. All right, so else if the user average is less than, so let me explain. So if the user average is less than 60, then we get an F. But if it's not less than 60, that means that the average is 60 okay or above okay and we don't want all the numbers 60 or above for all the numbers 60 or above we want the ones less than 70. numbers 60 or above but less than 70 gives us the range 60 to 69. in that case letter grade is a d right so it's very important to understand this first we are starting with a number right if the number is is less than 60, the, the average is less than 60, the user gets an F. If it's not less than 60, then that means that average is 60 or above. But we don't want to test for all the numbers 60 or above. What we want over here is for all the numbers 60 or above. We, over here, we've eliminated the fact. If it, the program manages to get here, we, you know, we know that that number is 60 or above. But for all the numbers 60 or above, for the ones also less than 70, so 60 or, 60 or above or less than 70 falls in this range. And in that case, your letter grade is, is Z. Sorry, is, is D. Right? 60 or above, but less than 70 is 60 to 69. Okay, so let's move ahead. So else if we go into another range now. All right. So if your user average is not less than 60 and it's not less than 70, that means that the user average is 70 or above. 
we don't want all the numbers 70 or above. For all the numbers 70 or above, we also want the ones less than 80. For all the numbers, if for numbers 70 or above are less than 80, we are looking at the range 70 to 79. In that case, the letter grade is C, right? 70 to 79 C. So just to quickly go through this you know, very quickly, and I'll move on. We're starting with an average. If the average is less than 60, the letter grade is F. If it's not less than 60, then we know that if the program gets here, we know that the average is 60 or above. And for all the for numbers 60, for all the numbers 60 or above, but less than 70, we are dealing with a range 60 to 69. Your letter grade is D. Okay, so if the number is not less than 60, if it's not less than 70, if the program manages to get here, then that means that the number is 70 or above. We don't want to test for all the numbers 70 or above at this point. We, over here, what we're interested in is number 70 or above, but also less than 80. In that case, the letter grade is C. And then let's move on. All right? Because, like I said, if the program manages to get here, for example, right? That means it's not less than 60. The number is not less than 60. It's not less than 70. It's 70 or above. And over here, we are testing for number 70 or above, but less than 80. All right. <coughs> Sorry. If the number is, if the average is not less than 60, if it's not less than 70, if it's not less than 80, that means the average is 80 or above. And for all the numbers 80 or above, like I said, the program manages to get here, we know that the number of the average is 80 or above. For all the numbers 80 or above, we want the ones less than 90. So else if user average is less than 90, right? Then we are dealing with a range over here, 80 to 89. Right, <clears throat> so we we basically we are basically asking. Let's say we have a user average. Is the user average less than sixty? If it's not, we check. Is the user average less than seventy? If it's not, we check. Is the, if the user average less is the user average less than eighty? If it's not less than eighty, we know it's eighty or above. And over here for the numbers eighty or above, we are we're looking for the ones from eighty. Uh, so we we're looking for the ones less than ninety. Eighty or above less than ninety basically gives us a range eighty to eighty nine. In that case, your letter grade is B. I know I'm talking about this um, a lot, but I just want to make sure it's clear, right? It's, a, it's just a nice way to, you know, kind of filter out numbers and check, you know, a, a range. Uh, we are, we are, we are, we are, if, if it's not less than 60, then we know the number is 60 or above. So we, we've, we've, we've eliminated basically um, certain numbers. If over here, it's not, if it's not less than 60, we know the number is 60 or above. So it, cannot, it, can't, be, um, it, it can't be less than 60. Right, that, that is if it if it gets past this point, it's, it can't be less than sixty anymore. It's sixty or above. If it, if if it's here, we know it's um, sixty or above. If it's here, okay, we know it's seventy or above. If it gets here, then we know it's not less than eighty. It's eighty or above. All right, so let's check for the next one. It's very important that you know you understand this because you can do a lot with it going forward. All right. So if the number is not, if the average is not less than ninety, then we are we are dealing with numbers ninety or above. But we don't want all the numbers ninety or above. We want the, the numbers ninety to one hundred. So if the number is not less, if these average is not less than ninety, we want the numbers less than or equal to one hundred. Right. The user average. So else, if the user average, I, mean, I forgot to type it. So if the user average is not less than ninety, then we want to check is, is the user average less than. So so uh, so let, let me just point it out really quickly. So over here, if the user average is not if if the user average is not less than ninety. Yeah, no, I'm talking fast. If the user average is not less than ninety, then we know the user average is ninety or above. For all the numbers ninety and above, we don't want we don't want all of them. We just want the ones less than or equal to hundred. Uh, uh, more than ninety, okay, ninety or above, but less than or equal to hundred gives us the range of ninety to hundred. In that case your letter grade is A. Alright, so I know I've <laughs> I've talked a lot about this. But again I just want to make sure it's clear. So by doing this basically we have our range. Again this is all assuming we type in numbers from zero to hundred. Again, chapter three doesn't cover input validation and all that stuff. 
So we are dealing with only what has been covered in chapter three. So when you're testing your program, start typing numbers from zero to 100. All right. And so at, 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 by this point, we'll have our letter grade. Okay, at this point, we'll have our letter grade, depending on what the user average is. And then we can go ahead and display, because the program says we should display the average of the test scores and the letter grade, if that is assigned for the test score average. 